Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. Today I'm going to talk about a new function. It's a very small utility that is introduced in SQL Server 2016 and the function is a string split function. Okay, I really like this small utility because it does a really good work and with a very less effort and down we'll see what exactly it does. Okay, so before that, uh, let's see how it works. So the string split function is a table valued function where you know the first it takes two parameters where the first parameter is the string that you want to parse and uh, separate out the words and the second parameter is the batch separator so this uh, so the size of this batch separator should be only of one character and uh, let's see how this works so here I have a sentence that is a simple sentence where you know my name is Manoj Pandey where each and every word is separated by a blank space and here my separator is bl blank so let's see how this works so if I do a select star from split string, so as you can see here, it is a it is coming in the from clause. So it is a table valued function, and if I execute, so it splits out my whole sentence into multiple rows, right? And you can see, you know, each and every word is transformed into a different different row. Let's see another example where you know you have uh, you don't have this particular sentence, but you have a comma separated values, and you know you have a comma separated cities. Right. So here what I'm doing is as I have these comma separated values, so I'm here providing a separator as comma. Right. So let's see how this works. And as I execute it, all my states are now converted or transformed into different different rows. Right. So as I said earlier, the separator should not be an empty string. Right. It will give you an error. So let's see what I've done here is I've given, you know, the same sentence. My name is Manoj Pandey. But here what I've done is I'm not giving here as a blank string I'm here giving as an empty string right so let's see how it works so if I execute it I'll get an error right procedure expects parameter separator of type n care one or n where care one so it expects a separator that is only of one character okay and it should be a n care or n where care right so here we have uh, this blank space and here I have a comma separator right so this works like that if even you know if you give two blank spaces or some two characters it won't work it will give you a same error right so let's move ahead uh, now let's see how it works with some other scenarios so here in this scenario I have a table that has two columns state and cities and let's see you know what kind of data we are going to insert here so in this table I have you know states AK CA and CO so I have only these three states and the cities I'm having in comma separated form right so let's insert this record so let's insert these three records into this table and let's see how these look like so I have these three states with you know these following cities so the result that I want is I want each and every city to be in uh, different rows so what I want is I want two records for this uh, state and I want four records for CA and four different records for Colorado right so let's see how our string split function will work so I have to do nothing it the syntax is very very simple select state and you know the value column so the uh, this TVF that is the table valued function returns the uh, this this value column okay so you can use it here and as you can see here above right um, if I execute this again you can see the column name is value right so this this uh, table value function returns uh, the column name as value right so you can use this value function over here you have to get the records from your table where you know the you have uh, states and cities and for city you have to do a cross apply with this function and you have to provide the city name here for each and every state and you have to use the comma separator here right so if you do a select of this particular query this works like this so it has separated all these cities like this so it has separated all these cities into different different rows right right so four different cities we have four rows for three different cities we have three rows and for two these two different cities for this state we have two different different rows right previously we used to do it in a very you know uh, I would say dirty way or a bit of complex way and the uh, workaround was very complex so as you can see here this is a very complex query so if you just glance it it will look like very complex right so what I'm doing here is in the sub query first of all I'm converting my cities that is a comma separated value to a XML value right so if you can see here 
these all values were previously comma separated I have converted them into XML then what I'm doing is I'm I'm using XML functions to you know do the splitting and you know transforming uh, these values into different different rows like this so if I do a select so it does the same work but in a bit different way and uh, this, uh, th this this query looks very complex and you know in first glance it looks very awkward to me and confusing to me also so definitely you know this is a string split function makes things very very simple and you know without writing this very complex code and confusing code you can easily write a very simple code and you know you can split your strings in just seconds and in a very very simple form right so this is small utility that is uh, a new feature in SQL Server 2016 it uh, really does wonders in transforming the data from uh, one row to multiple rows and this is it for today please like the video and uh, please uh, subscribe my channel by subscribing my channel you'll get to know the latest videos that I put in okay thank you very much have a nice day